Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome back for another Money Making Monday post. I did skip over this last week and that was not intentional. Um, I did want to quickly mention that if you have watched my video about the best way to list eBay items faster about hiring a virtual assistant, if you have watched that video and submitted a entry through this portal where I get a little information from you about your business and have not heard back, please check your spam. It may be in there. My response may be in your spam. Um, a lot of you are emailing asking if I have contacted you and um, folks are finding my response in their spam. So if you could check that. If not, you can always email me at Suzanne at SuzanneAWells.com and if you don't even know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'll put a link to this video on the top right so you can check out this service to help you get your items listed faster. So on to Money Making Monday. This is from the week of October 2nd and we're going to go through these listings and look at what everybody sold. This is actually on my Facebook group. This is a weekly thread that we do every Monday and we have been doing this since about 2013. So there's lots of these you can look at. Uh, they're all saved in the group. Just do a search for Money Making Monday. And the purpose of this is to learn from each other. So sellers will enter uh, in their entry here what they paid for something, where they found it, how much they sold it for, um, and they'll put a link to the listing so you can go look at it. So the point is to go to this thread and read through this and click on the links to go look at the listing so you can see did they have free shipping on it? Was it auction or fixed price? Or you know any of the details that you want to know about the item, you can go to the listing and look at it. So let's get started. We've got Rebecca, uh, Rebecca who purchased these Lanvin ballet flats for $7.99 and sold for $80 with free shipping in four days. So that is, um, whoops. That is a huge sale. Quick flip. And she looks like she took an offer there. So she had them priced at 98, but took an offer of 80. So great pictures. And this always helps when you find something with this information on the box. If you look at this, um, let's see if we can zoom in here. $495. These were originally from Barney's of New York. So that is a fantastic find. So she turned eight bucks into 80 bucks in about four days. So you can't beat that. Okay, looks like she's got another one, Rebecca, here right at the top. Um, purchased at a thrift store for $3.99, listed for about eight months at, at $125 based on internet comps with no interest. Took best offer. Okay, what she means there is um, the one she found online, there, there seemed to be no interest in them, I'm guessing. Took best offer of $64 plus shipping. And this is, this is a perfect example of something that you might be walking right by and not even know it's worth anything. It's a, looks like black and white uh, pencil drawing or charcoal drawing. Let's see. Yeah, it's some kind of drawing, either pencil or charcoal. Um, just a squirrel in the woods. You know, just a picture of a squirrel that sold for a whole bunch of money. Um, and there he is. <laughs> I mean, that's that's something I would walk by. And it's got the artist's name here in pencil. And then on the other side, the name is of the print um, of the piece is called Woodlot. She's got lots of good pictures of the frame and the back, and of course it's old, so it's going to be a little uh, worn looking, you know, things are. Okay, lithographs, so that's what it is. Um, signed and framed, and she took $64. 
So, you know, $64 for a picture of a squirrel in the woods. <laughs> Only on eBay. That's just, that's a perfect example of what eBay can do for you. Okay, let's see. We've got Nicole Ramsey. This was 60 cents in a mixed bag of other vintage, how do you even say that? Schleich's toys? I probably butchered that, so somebody correct me. Sold the others for about $20 each. This one took about six months and sold for $39.99 plus shipping to New Zealand. So there you go again on the international shipping. If you are not shipping internationally, you are leaving money on the table. And it's just a little um, bendable toy. Brown dog, black ears, red collar. And why aren't my pictures loading? Hmm. Anyway, um, <laughs> I would have overlooked that too. Four inches across and 1.5 inches tall. Just a little bendable dog that sold for 40 bucks that went to Australia. Aren't we just living the dream, making our money on eBay um, doing this? I mean, it just amazes me every day. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Rebecca, boy, you just had a good week. Let's look at what this is. She purchased at Goodwill for $10 total, listed for three months, and took best offer of $80 plus shipping. ABC, the view lot of five coffee mugs, original cast. Okay, so that's definitely an interesting set. And that sold for $80. And she paid a total of $10 for all of those. And I believe selling those as a set helped make them more valuable. It's hard to know what to do on these sets, if you should break them up or keep them together. Um, the only way to know is to look at comps and see. Because somebody may have the whole set and they just want one. Or maybe they just don't have any and they need the whole set so it could be anybody in either situation okay John you put your listing up here but it doesn't say how much you paid for it okay this is oh here's a Starbucks mug let's see what happened Helen paid two dollars and fourteen cents on clearance at Starbucks sold for 1997 plus 2114 shipping to a buyer in India had these listed for a year and relisted about two weeks ago. And so then they go down here to discuss that um, Starbucks has a clearance and yes, sometimes they do. Helen says, never seen them as low as $2. So let's go take a look at that listing. And it is your basic black Starbucks mug. And looks like she's got, oh, she's bought a few of those. So she's got one left if anybody wants it. Great. And she's got a good description down there. And she's got her international shipping. So um, you just never know where inventory is waiting for you. And um, like they're discussing down here, Starbucks has a clearance section and th things are going to be priced differently based on the different stores. So when you're in there getting your pre-thrifting jolt of caffeine, um, you can check out the clearance section if they have one and make that little Starbucks stop for your frappuccino or whatever you get a business expense because you are looking at what's on clearance so see how I worked that in right there okay this is a great one here Dana bought this for a dollar fifty took three months which is longer than she thought it would take and took best offer of twenty nine dollars and if you are not aware that vintage feminine products sell here is the proof and that's what I love to do in my videos is show you all the proof of what people sold, not what you think it might sell for. Because an item is only worth what someone's going to pay for it, not what you think it will sell for.
So let's see, she took a best offer of $29. And this is vintage Kotex feminine napkins. So um, people buy these. And honestly, I've heard that they're purchased for like uh, movie sets. People have shipped things to different movie sets in California or in New York and it may be used for a prop. It could be used for any kind of um, like a play. Well, I don't know if it would be used for a play, but um, a prop is really what it's probably going to be used for. Um, or who knows, some type of vintage collection of, you know, how this type of product has evolved over the years, uh, maybe in a college course or something like that, where they study marketing and how things have evolved over the years. Um, I majored in marketing and we had stuff like that. So we didn't have this particular product shown to us, but, um, you know, there's a need for this kind of thing because everything ages and it becomes historical so you just never know what people are going to use these things for especially like this if it's new in the box it doesn't look like um let's see does she have them listed as she has them listed as used meaning the box was probably open and a couple were taken out or something it says 12 included box open and damaged from storage but still can tuck tab into top so anyway just to broaden your horizons probably way more than you wanted them broadened on this video um, you see this in a goodwill or at a garage sale you just never know you might be able to sell it okay moving on to less embarrassing products um, let's see what Bethany has here Paid three dollars, sold in one day. What's funny is I sold this same shirt last year, and it took almost three months to sell. So let's see what that was, and that happens to me too. Like I'll find the exact same item, and um, I'm like, oh yeah, I know this will sell because I've already sold it before. <laughs> so she sold it for twenty four ninety nine, and it's a cute um, linen embroidered top. Brand is Cabi, C-A-B-I. Those sell pretty well. And it's 100% linen, so that is also a factor in the value because linen is a more expensive fabric. And for those of you don't who don't know where linen comes from, I should do a trivia quiz, but I know a lot of you would cheat with um, Google. <laughs> but linen comes from flax, which is a plant and it comes from the stalk or the reed of the flax plant um, like the seeds are what you see you know flax seed breads uh, where it's mixed into baked goods and that kind of thing and the flax oil and all of that comes from the seeds but the stalks of the flax plant are what is used to make linen so there's your useful fact if you ever get on Jeopardy and need to know that. So that is a great sale and the brand is Cabi, C-A-B-I. Oh and Melanie says, <laughs> my daughter, I love finding things I've sold in the past. Yeah, because we'll be like, yep, I've sold this before. I know it'll sell. Okay, let's see. This is Monica who I have enjoyed meeting through email and she is a yoga teacher who said that she has spent the last seven years barefoot in her own yoga studio on a mat. And I thought, I said, that just sounds like heaven to me. Um, but any entrepreneur has issues and has problems and it's never as easy as everyone thinks it is. So shout out to Monica. Um, so she found these for free at the end of her kids' school tag sale and sold them for $160 with free shipping. Okay, you can't beat free that you turn into money. So if this will load, we can see what it is. They are myofacial pain and dysfunction, the trigger point manual volumes one and two, it looks like. And 
Lisa's saying here that she would have sent it priority for that much money and so Monica said she didn't really know that so thank you for bringing that up anyway my internet's a little slow as usual so we're gonna move on to the next item but um, the point here is that she got these free at the end of a tag sale so hang around and pick up the leftovers you never know what you might get okay let's see what else we've got okay here's a brand I wanted to mention um, Bowden, B-O-D-E-N. This is a brand that comes out of the UK, if you are not familiar with that. And Michelle got this at four uh, for four seventy nine at Goodwill and sold it for forty nine ninety nine in a couple of hours. And so let's go see what this is. Very colorful. I definitely would have picked that up. It's a very colorful, colorful top. And let's see, nice pictures just a colorful floral top but this is the kind of thing I look for that jumps out at you off the the rack that's just um, loud and bright and um, obviously a quick seller so 479 she turned that into 49.99 and the brand is Bowden B-O-D-E-N okay what else do we have here here's another Starbucks mug I'm not going to open every single one of these listings because it's faster if we can just kind of go through and look at the preview. She paid $1.99 at Goodwill. Took more than six months to sell. It finally sold for $22 plus shipping. And here we are in October and this was a Starbucks coffee mug. So more proof that seasonal sells all year. eBay knows no seasons. So get those items listed. Okay, um, let's see here. Here's a good one. Angie paid $4 at a local thrift store and sold this for $32.95 in three weeks. And it's a vintage tackle box. Um, that's something that I might pass up, not knowing it was worth anything. But um, let's see if that one will load for us. It always, my internet always seems to slow down when I get on to make these videos, so I apologize for that. Well, we're just going to skip that, but the point here is a tackle box. She thought for sure it'd be sitting till spring, and she sold it in three weeks. So she must have bought it in September, and it sold in early October. And that would be really easy to ship. It probably wouldn't uh, take much, probably wouldn't weigh much, and it wouldn't be really fragile to ship so that's that's a good thing to look at okay um, here we go Shayna purchased at a thrift store from last year's stock for two dollars and fifty cents sold it on auction for twenty six seventy nine and it's a boys Peter Pan Halloween costume um, a Disney costume so it can pay to hold on to stuff for a year um, I do see a lot of questions about um, when should I give up on an item and you know that's just a judgment a judgment call because the more you do this the more experienced you are you the sense of urgency kind of diminishes it's it's not when you're new you feel like things need to sell right away or you're failing and that's not the case this just takes time um, I've sold things after having them a year and a half just because I know the right buyer is going to come along. Um, I prefer to sell things quickly, but you don't have to have an either or business. You don't have to do the, um, the slow dime versus the fast nickel. You can do both. You can have a whole uh, mix of different kinds of uh, strategies going on in your store you know you don't have to just stick with one or the other so as you get more experienced you're gonna get more patient you're gonna realize that the buyers will come you just have to keep finding things and keep listing them and for those of you that are new and you're frustrated and you think that because your item hasn't sold in three months that it, it won't um, this you're just gonna have to be patient it just doesn't work like that um, 
you just keep listing and you'll keep selling and honestly the magic number that I see on most of my clients who stick with this is 250 items and about six months of selling those two things together um, you will start to see things snowball and the store will kind of take on a, a life of its own and you'll get some momentum but when you're new um, there's all kind of metrics that work against you when you're new because in search you've got um, things like when your account was opened how much feedback you have how many things you've sold all of that goes into the the search algorithm and when you're new you just don't have all that historical stuff to help you so you have to create a history you know it's the whole Rome wasn't built in a day you've got to work some unpaid hours to get this business going and if you don't have the patience for that this may not be for you um, you know I'm the only person in my family out of four kids that has the entrepreneur mindset you know I'm willing to work many unpaid hours to get the result I want my siblings you know they want a salary job they want to get paid for their work and go home and not think about it but I'm just I'm wired differently and I know a lot of you are so just be aware that um, this takes time and you just have to keep yourself motivated and keep going and it is not a fast result at all if, if you're reading that on the internet somewhere that you know you can do this and build this business in 90 days um, that is very unusual and not what I have seen working with over a thousand clients since 2009 it just doesn't work like that so let's get back to money making Mondays here and talk about making money okay George he found these awesome men's converse Chuck Taylors for three dollars at a garage sale sold at auction for two hundred and twelve dollars now what I'd like to know is the, that person is <laughs> garage sale if they're kicking themselves for doing this because can you imagine finding out that you sold something for three dollars that a reseller bought and sold for two hundred and twelve dollars um, yeah I'd feel I'd feel kind of embarrassed about that but here they are they are camouflage high tops they've got the box um, George always finds great things but see here how the box looks pretty vintage it's got the size on it and it's got um, the year on the box also must be right there where it says 1984 Olympic Games it's official sponsor so um, this is this is what eBay is all about right here is being able to develop an eye for something like this and spotting these details and be a, being able to walk out of a garage sale with something that you know is worth a couple of hundred dollars and keep a straight face and just <laughs> walk to your car and drive away knowing what's gonna happen so um, I love these kind of sales okay so let's see what else we've got here is a good bread and butter item some Clark's artisan black ankle boots Jean paid seven dollars at Goodwill sold within a month for thirty dollars plus shipping there's an there's your international again get signed up for international also check out my video on uh, shipping direct and not using the global shipping program because it does make it more expensive for your international buyers all right let's see what else we've got something unusual oh I love these Barbie ones um, Shanna says it's part of an earlier bar Barbie lot purchased sold just the long dresses alone let's see how much they went for they sold for $17.99 I mean these little tiny bitty itty bitty Barbie clothes sold for almost $18 and they were whoops went to the wrong thing um, they were part of a lot so if you are into the little bitty things Barbie clothes are definitely 
good money makers. I sold several of them on Amazon when I was selling over there um, through retail arbitrage, just stuff that was limited in the stores. We would figure out which I think it was like Barbie pajamas. It was something really crazy. And we'd buy them for like 10 bucks and sell them for $40 because they were um, just hard to find. And it's there's just the sky's the limit on this stuff. You know, I never bought my kids expensive stuff like that, but you never know who your customers are. And that's the thing is you are not your customer. Just because you wouldn't do something doesn't mean other people won't. So you got to keep an open mind when you're selling this stuff. Okay, let's find some other stuff to talk about here. Jean had a good week, sold a lot of stuff. And Lisa sold, let's see, she paid $4.99 at a thrift store, sold for $38.25 after a few weeks. And these are the Sanita clogs, uh, professional clogs just always remember to do the twist test on the bottom of these as well as Clark's and uh, Born and any of these shoes that have these sort of microbial soles on them you want to bend them and twist them around because they will dry out and start to disintegrate so and that may be why they were donated was because the soles are bad so just be sure to check that before you buy them. Um, here is Morgan, paid 50 cents at a yard sale, sold in a day and a half for $29.95. Lucky brand, wear the clover orange long sleeve shirt. So somehow that was um, a rare item and she sold it in a day and a half. So again, get those items listed because they can't sell if they're not listed and that's where my listing service can help you out um let's see what we got here can't see the picture on that one brandy i bought this for 29 i'm not sure if she's that must be 29 dollars or 29 cents Accepted a best offer of 75 plus shipping. Sold in two days. Maybe she'll come on and clarify what she bought those for. Um, I'm thinking it must be either she forgot the decimal or it was at the buy the pound store. Um, the Goodwill outlet. So they are Red Wing men size 11 wide. And that's probably why they sold so fast. Um because the wide shoes and the narrow shoes are harder to find and those are going to get grabbed up quickly. So if you have to make a choice and you have wide or narrow shoes to choose from, pick those over regular widths because they will sell for more and they usually sell um, faster. So I wonder, I. I'm sure this is not $29. I'm sure this is either $2.90 or she got it at the buy the pound store. So anyway, good sale there. Okay, Julie Anderson paid $2 at a yard sale, took about two months, sold for $49 plus the global shipping program. And this is the 1992 Disney Jasmine from Aladdin Barbie doll. $2 at a yard sale. So when you're at these yard sales, look for things new in the package. That's a great flip there. Some collector will love that. Okay, let's see what else. Julie got lots of toys. Okay, let's pick out a few more here. Kim, free from her mother. Sold in a few days. Listed at $99.99 took best offer of $75 with free shipping. And these are some 14 karat yellow gold and diamond hinged hoop earrings. Very nice sale. The jewelry is a great seller, easy to ship. Just always put insurance on that just in case because what I've heard is the smaller it is, the easier it gets stolen. So even people at the post office have sticky hands. So be careful with that. And really jewelry, don't ship it in something tiny. 
put it in a little bit bigger of a box so that it's you know it has a less chance of getting lost or pocketed or taken. Okay, let's pick a few more here. Okay, this is a good brand uh, since we're getting close to Halloween. Madison paid $12 at a consignment sale, sold for a total of $53.50 in a few days. And the brand is called Chasing Fireflies. I have seen this brand do well. Actually, our wonderful moderator, Jen Cangelosi, actually taught me about this brand years ago. Um, this is a really cute costume, and it's, oh, it's a Disney line. Okay, Disney Chasing Fireflies. So any of this princess glitter stuff does really well, so look for that. Um, so this sold for $53.50, and she paid $12 at a consignment sale. So that was a good sale. Um, let's see what we have here. <laughs> I wanted to show you this one. Uh, Angela says, this was a first and outside of my norm. Found four pairs of pole dancing shorts for $1.50 each about a month back. Sold each separately between $15 and $19 each plus shipping and all were gone within a month. So who knew that there even was such a thing as pole dancing shorts. Now the question is, um, how did she know that's what they were? Um, yes, yeah, somebody's asking were they marked as pole dancing shorts? Um, so that's, let's see if there's any tags on here. Oh, I see. Here's a little, um, there's a little logo here. It says pole fit. So obviously you would have to look at those really close to figure that out. But now we all know there are pole dancing shorts. And I also saw the other day on a Facebook video that there is something called aqua pole dancing where they actually have these poles in a pool and you can go and learn to do pole dancing in the pool um, and like not have gravity working against you so you know I guess those baby boomers are just paving the way for all kind of things when we get old we can <laughs> get in the pool and do pole dancing and we can get our shorts on eBay <laughs> okay anyway um, what else do we have here and Brian, we always have to talk about his sales because he finds the coolest stuff. Paid $5 at a garage sale and sold for $79.99 after about a month. And this is a Jaguar hood ornament. So he goes to some good garage sales. I went last weekend and for three hours and didn't find anything. It was just, I think um, it was just an off week or something. But sometimes, I guess I'm just picky and... I'm looking for really high profit items. Okay, let's see, a couple more here. Donna. Donna paid $2 at a garage sale. Her daughter thought she was nuts. That's old, why do you want it? And she says to sell on eBay, of course. Sold in eight days for $42.99. Donna O'Shaughnessy, I love your last name. <laughs> That's just fun to say. So let's go take a look at this. It's my Christmas holiday carousel wagon and six horses with lights and 21 songs. Now that is a really interesting piece. And there's all the information on the back. The brand is actually Mr. Christmas. And that just looks fun. I can see somebody buying that. That looks like a fun decoration. So she bought that for $2 and sold it for $42.99. So that is great, Donna. Thank you so much for posting. I recognize you from YouTube, so thanks for coming over to the group. And let's pick out one more, because this video is getting really long. Um, okay, here is Diana. She is one of our repeat customers with our virtual assistant service. We have been listing her things for her. 
She bought this for $2 on sale day at Goodwill and sold for $20 plus shipping after about three months. And the dress had a defect. So what I want to show you here is how things can sell with a defect. I've talked about this before. So don't worry about everything having to be in perfect condition because it does not. She says in her seller notes, overall good condition with no rips, stains, or holes. There is one small pull mark on the right bottom side of the dress, approximately 15 inches above the bottom hem. It is not overly noticeable because it's a close, it's close to the side seam and closer to the bottom of the dress. So she's got some photos here of it. Let's see. Yeah, she's pointing to just one little, looks like a little pick there. Um, it's just a pull. So not a huge damaged area, but it's not perfect. And a lot of times it just doesn't matter. So this was pro a gorgeous dress for holidays. Um, just a side note, red is the best color if you have to um, make a choice when you're buying inventory. Red formal wear and like party dresses, cocktail dresses are the best because um, they can be worn for Christmas, Valentine's, anything patriotic like a uh, you know Veterans Day, a military ball, those types of things. Red is just a great color to go with because there's so many holidays it can be used for. Um, the Fourth of July, pageants, um, you know the beauty queens on the floats and stuff like that. So red and black are my go-to colors on dresses and formal wear type stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, again, this is in my Facebook group, Stay at Home Mom Selling on eBay. You do not have to be a mom to join. We formed this group back in 2008 and um, there's just too many people in it now and it's we can't change the name without having to start all over again. So um, that's just a Facebook thing. Um, so anyway, anybody's welcome, moms, dads, whoever, and you can come and read this thread every week, read old threads. You will learn and be amazed every week because I still am um, <laughs> when I see things that people have sold, like this week I learned all about pole dancing shorts. So you just never know. So thanks for watching. Would love your comments below on how you did this week, what you sold, and um, what's going on in your eBay world. Thanks for watching. Bye.